Today we'll be taking a look at the application called Naked Browser Pro. It's one of the most lightweight Android browsers out there. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is the icon. So uh, Browser NB Pro. And as you can see, it does not give you any flashy things. Uh, it's uh, mostly everything is uh, straightforward. Uh, on the left side you have bookmarks and on the recent uh, in the center you have recent uh, history if you swipe from the left uh, you get your bookmarks uh, as well as the option to go into the history uh, from yesterday uh, two or three days ago and these are the uh, popular links that you have visited Now let's go to any web page. Uh, actually, let's go to the options. Now this is the the list of options here. On the left side, you see uh, the first one is search in page. Next one is the downloads. Uh, the third one is share, uh, followed by uh, save a web page, uh, followed by night mode, uh, and. Um, Next one you have uh, on the next layer you have a refresh, the user agent which I use the most, uh, top of the page, a full screen uh, options like this. It it gives you uh, the the top layer uh, options. Uh, this is the bookmarks, uh, followed by a stop uh, page rendering, uh, bottom of the page uh, forward and the options. So let's go to the options. And this is the list of options that you have. Uh, this is by far the most uh, versatile, uh, the, the most customizable um, Android bar browser I have uh, ever seen. At the top, you have the data options. Uh, you can uh, um, clear the history, uh, cache or cookies. Uh, you have the option of clearing history on exit as well as the cache, uh, as well as the cookies, of course. Um, you have the option of saving the form data uh, or passwords, uh, as well as um, history and, and cookies. You can export and import the bookmarks. Uh, now it has gesture control. Uh, this is uh, the number of these options. The number of options for gesture control makes me think that this is the most uh, versatile uh, browser when it comes to gesture control. Uh, you can set your volume buttons to either change the volume, uh, scroll the page, or zoom. Uh, the link long press, you have the option of uh, showing the context menu such as open in a new page or uh, opening the link in a new page or saving uh, the contents of the link or saving the image or so forth. Uh, as well as the opening in the new tab or um, opening in the new tab and view. This we will be taking a look at further because uh, I think there is a little bug here. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that. In the long press, uh, you can either uh, select it to select text or not. Uh, the double tab gesture uh, you can do so that it shows you the top menu uh, and or the bottom menu or the uh, screen toggle. Uh, this is like this. Uh, for instance, if I uncheck this, if I go back, it doesn't do anything. Uh, but if I go back and select it, double tap selects both top and bottom menu. When I go back, if I double tap here, it brings the menu. Okay, so let's go back. Now the top menu gesture is the one that displays the, the URL and you can either swipe once from the top, uh, swipe twice or swipe from the edge. I have it set to uh, once uh, from the edge because it uh, suits me the most. Now the side menu is the one with bookmarks and history. Uh, you can do the same as uh, you have for the top menu selection. And you can either have it um, 
load the top menu on upon loading the browser or not. You can set the two finger gesture to do any one of these tasks uh, such as opening a new tab, closing a new tab, uh, show the menus or any one of these options. You can have that set for uh, the swipe down gesture, uh, the two finger swipe down, uh, left or right gesture, a double tap and up for instance opens up the new page, uh, the new tab. Uh, let me show that. So when I double tap and go up like this, double tap up, that's what it does. It opens up a new page. Double tap down closes uh, the, the page. Uh, so let's go back. Also, you have the option of uh, swiping uh, left or right along the, the edge, the bottom edge. Uh, the wide viewport as well as open pages in the overview are similar options in a sense that they let you see the page uh, full screen um, zoomed out all the way you have the option of uh, switching the javascript on and off uh, for instance if you if you switch it off if you go back in the options uh, if you go to any any web page you have the option of uh, loading the JavaScript by pressing on this button. And here you go. This is the JavaScript uh, layer that this particular site, Yelp, has. If you go back and switch it on, that will automatically switch on the JavaScript. Now you can either load images on only on Wi-Fi uh, all the time or completely switch it off. You can have search suggestions uh, switched on or not. The tab close method uh, lets you pick the option that you want uh, when you want to close the tab. You can either touch it uh, or long press it or swipe it down. When you swipe down the page, it closes it. If you only have one open, it still does that. The tab caching threshold is the number of tabs that you can have it set so that it reloads it when you first load the browser. It's best to have it set as default, otherwise you might have crashes. The bookmark open behavior lets you pick one of the, uh, the options. You can either uh, op uh, open the bookmark in the new tab, uh, current tab, or open it a new tab and view it at the same time. Uh, this actually does not work as well as it should. When you open your bookmark, one of your bookmarks, what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to open that bookmark in a new tab. However, when you press on it, such as this, it opens it and you are immediately thrown to this tab. Let's try it again. And you are once again it behaves as if you were as if you chose the open a new tab and view behavior so that does not work as well as it should and uh, un under the etc section you can pick uh, other things that uh, most uh, suit your needs such as allowing pop-ups or enabling uh, the geolocation or preloading pre the web page now, what I would like to see uh, is some sort of a user agent customization to be implemented, uh, such as this. Uh, if you uh, if you long tap on this, you see you have the option of going Android or desktop. Uh, it would be nice to uh, have it set to whatever you want. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how it actually loads the web pages. Uh, let's go to uh, this one, the, the Amazon. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, something like uh, more of um, a more of a more involved web page, like uh, Yahoo Finance, perhaps. Okay, it loads very quickly. Uh, there is no noticeable lag here. I personally like uh, when browsers let you choose the user agent because in this case um, I always choose uh, the desktop mode as opposed to mobile mode. 
because opening those sites in a desktop mode let you see more things. So let's see how night mode works. Let's tap on the night mode button. And here you go. It basically replaces the bright colors with the dark ones. So that should be pretty much it for this browser. I suggest you go ahead and get it. Uh, you have the option of getting the free version first and then upgrading to the pro version. And the browser only takes uh, roughly two or 300 kilobytes, so it shouldn't take uh, much of your data.